So there's been a lot of talk in the graphic design and art world about how AI generated artwork will affect us as creatives. Some people think it's the end of times for artists and others see it as an emerging technology we can explore. In this video, I want to showcase AI as a tool that we can use to create assets and get the best use out of a new creative technology. So I asked you all to submit me some prompts on Instagram that I'm actually going to feed into the AI through Discord. So the five prompts that I have are holographic God holding the universe, trash bin full of rejected graphic design client work, secrets hidden underneath the White House, society in 2030 but built with Legos, and Starfall rain on a dusk orange sunset. So let's head over to Mid Journey and see what we can do. How this Mid Journey app's a little bit different from most, you know, other softwares or AIs, you actually run it through Discord. So you do need a Discord account if you want to try this stuff out. I'll show you how it works right now. They basically assign you a room that you're in with a bunch of other users that allow you to generate your artwork. So we're going to go down to here. So this first one is holographic God holding the universe. One thing I realized when I first tried this out is just submitting this didn't seem like enough to get me what I wanted. There's actually ways you can stylize it by saying like 4K, um, animated, like whatever style you want. And I found what generates pretty cool results is this filter, which gives us wide shot because then I can zoom in on it and use pieces that I want. Um, Unreal Engine 5, render, and 4K. So let's run this through. It takes a few minutes. A few minutes later. So this is what it gave us in the beginning it gives you four images and you see how it says u1 u2 u3 you can choose to upscale any of these or you can create four more variations of one of these i think i'm going to do is create four variations of this bottom right one and i can do that by just clicking this and then we wait for it to kind of re-roll and generate a new set of images so here's our new four that were all based off that one i think i'm going to do one more variation roll and see what we get i'm going to go with this one so i'm going to see i'm going to upscale the top left one by pushing u1 so here's Here's our image upscaled. As you can see, we have a lot more detail here. That one turned out pretty cool, but I would say in full transparency, this stuff always doesn't turn out the best. So when people talk about AI just being like, at least where the state it is right now, you can just put whatever you want and come up with something really cool. There's actually almost like a art or science to like how you type stuff in. That's the one of the first things I've learned when messing with this stuff. So we'll try out the rejected design work one. Look at this is the first client work one. It looks like they went heavy on the trash and not really the client work stuff. I don't think that prompt for the artwork one is going to work out very well. So I'm going to move on to the next one and try out the secrets hidden underneath the White House one. This one may come up with something pretty weird. We'll see. And as that is sending as well, I think I'll try the society built in Legos one. Something like that maybe. It's really all just a test messing with the different parameters and seeing what works. This looks pretty cool. Being on more ultra realistic very detailed 8k secrets hidden underneath the white house i think maybe we re we roll this variations of this one no substance to this secret under the white house one i feel like i'd have to feed it more parameters of something about like some bad government conspiracy because it's just like one of those temples in like assassin's creed or something so here are the final images we have the holographic god universe one the secrets under the white house lego society thing and the starfall dusk orange sunset they're all pretty cool and I think this one looks dope, has a lot of potential, but I think I'm gonna use this for my actual layout design. And so the way I kind of look at this AI stuff is I'm never gonna, I don't think use this as like a final artwork or like a final piece, but I look at it kind of like as an infinite stock image generator. Obviously it's a little bit more stylized than what you'd want from a normal image, but we'll see what we can do with this. We'll probably have to come up with something pretty heady about the universe or some shit. Let's create a basic grid layout here. All right, and then our middle image I want to be kind of like 1080 by 1350 and we'll make this a little bit bigger place my image in the center i thought of that shape will fit this well and we'll scale it up to how we want it that's pretty cool and then i want some big type to infinite universe it is like a cool like book cover ad thing for like some sci-fi existential crisis book or poster um what kind of font do we want here? Maybe just Dharma Gothic will work. It's one of my favorite fonts for creating big layouts like this. I actually want to separate these though so I can scale them up to be the same. Now we will scale this to the edge. This other one, scale it. All right. I always find designing some of these posters, uh, recording like this, it's a lot more stressful than just doing it on without the, without the camera. I'm always like, oh, is that design good or is that... Was that layout cool enough for the video? But you know, it is what it is. I think I want to add a stroke to this. Definitely not that much. Yeah, that's cool. 
10. I want to scale this, scale these a bit to make them even taller. I don't think I want that much of the stroke. Let's do five and then I want to stretch these even more. Infinite universe. What do we want to write at the bottom? To be explored. All right, now let's find another version of Dharma that's a little wider. I think E, like that. I have to change this. All right, cool. I want to do like some body copy up there and then we'll mess with the colors and I'm kind of liking this layout. It's pretty simple, but I think it works. Mid journey, AI image generation, exploration. I think we'll do classic Noya Haas grotesque for this body type stuff. Scale this down quite a bit. Something maybe like that. I got to spell right. And typography. The life of a designer is making sure you don't spell something wrong before you post it on Instagram and have to deal with the trolls. All right, I gotta fix up all my margins. And what I usually do after I kind of size it all up, I think it's the align tool to make sure it's all split evenly. So you can select your text right here and go up to this, distribute spacing vertically. Yeah, see it barely moved because so let's say this was like this, right? We'd go up here and it would kind of space it out all evenly. All right, I wanna put a little stroke on these just to thicken them up a bit Two, maybe even one. Yeah, what I'm gonna do it first is throw a gradient map on this just to see what we're looking at with color. That's pretty dope. And look at these exo grade gradient map. These are a good way to Look at your color and figure out if you want what you want to use. These are actually from Black Market. All right. So what we'll do here is just apply that to that. I'm going to use a curves layer though. I'm going to brighten this up a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is turn this off so I can figure out this color situation. Yeah, I like that. All right, my finishing touches now are going to be some kind of, some kind of texture. I have this one um, texture press plugin action thing. Shout out Sam Thomas on IG who actually showed me this and it gives your type some cool, like makes it look distressed. So I'll show you how this works. Yeah, the difference, I'll show you. We have a nice like rough edge like that. We turn on the old version, you can see just a little subtle touch, but that paired with some nice type texture really helps to just kind of roughen it up to a way that I like it. What we'll do is for the rectangle, we'll do the same thing. I'll give it a rough edge and then we'll just pop that back in there. That. Now all we need is find a little paper texture and we think we're good. All right, I'm just gonna do a final color correction and then I think we're done. Here's the final poster design. As you can see, we only use the AI in a small part of it. And I wanted to showcase how we can use generated artwork as an asset in some of our other design work. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more design stuff like this. If you liked watching this video, then you can check out this one where I tried designing 10 posters in 10 minutes. That's it for now. See you next time. Peace.